What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope all is well with you brothers and sisters out there on this beautiful Friday. I'm doing pretty good myself. Shabbat Shalom to all the brothers and sisters in recognition to observing this day for worshiping the Most High. Sundown this evening to sundown tomorrow evening. You know what I always say, let's get some worship and praises and rest in if we're able to, okay? Because I know, you know, in this particular paradigm and time, some of us have, have to work, but at least we can still have our hearts, our minds on the Father as we uh, go about our daily, you know, duties or whatever, you know, and hopefully he will understand, you know, uh, this is an update story right here that I'm bringing to you guys. Uh, it was a real heartfelt story and what have you. Um, I did nine months about a little baby girl named Cupcake, well, Camille Cupcake McKinney. All right. Well, it says here, worst nightmare, couple face execution and drug death of Camille Cupcake McKinney, three years old, you know, who was snatched from a party and found in dumpster. All right. Uh, I was hoping and praying that when they um, found the baby, that they was going to find her alive. But for whatever reason, you know, the most high, he didn't, you know, uh, he didn't, you know, let that be, you know, but he knows better than we do. For whatever reason, he didn't. But the couple, you know, a couple, couple may face execution in the death, the drug death of a three-year-old girl who was snatched from party and found in a dumpster. Cupcake, well, Camille Cupcake, I always say Cupcake first. Uh, Camille Cupcake McKinney body contained dangerously high levels of methamphetamines and sedative when discovered by cops in Alabama. Whoa, boy, I tell you. This is a hard one. And that's the beautiful little princess right there. That I, I, I can't think of any names. You know, any names that it's so bad to call these low lowlifes. You know, I, I just can't, you know. And the thing about it. These are some of what is said to be our own. You know, and uh, I'm going to do a couple other videos and they will be titled you know the evil that ours do you know or what have you and um also what needs to happen to them you know sometime i feel like we when things like this happens you know to whoever you know our children or you know our brothers and sisters you know adults or what have you that we know or figure, you know, good people or what have you. Sometimes I feel like uh, some of us or we or what have you, you know, uh, are failing our own people simply because we rely on the system to ex exact, you know, justice, you know, in situations like this, you know. But I don't want to put put any kind of uh, heaviness of responsibility on some people that may look at it like, well, it's none of my business. Okay. You know, or what have you. But a long, 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 long time ago, you know, in Israel, whenever someone would do something so heinous to a brother, a sister, or a child, you know, well, swift vengeance will be taken to dispatch the low life perpetrator from this paradigm in time to the next dimension to where the father sits you know and he judges because a murderer you know have they have no um what you call a uh, salvation in the flesh you know and uh other words, they can't be forgiven. Basically. But what a lot of murderers don't understand is when you just go out and just commit murder. You know, um, what you're doing is the person you murdered, you have just appointed them your judge. 
See, that's the flip side of the situation. When you just go out and just murder, you have appointed them your judge. And what we're supposed to do as a people is to make sure we send them to their judge. Okay? The most high and the person that they murdered. Okay? Now to continue in the story, it says here, Patrick Devon Stallworth, 40, and Derek Arisha Brown, 29, have now been indicted in a U.S. District Court on kidnapping and conspiracy charges. The two are accused in the abduction of three-year-old uh, who was taken from a Birmingham housing community in October. Stallworth and Brown, whom authorities describe as boyfriend and girlfriend, were previously charged in a state court with capital murder. However, prosecutors also went down the federal route in hopes of getting minimum life sentences or even death penalties for the couple. Police have testified that the two have blamed each other for what happened to the girl. Now, fuck both of you low-life pieces of shit. And here's this motherfucker right here, Patrick Devon Starworth. All right, this is him. We can't let low lives like this run loose in our community. You know, we can look at the enemy. You know, uh, racist, white, low life degenerates, and I'm talking about the racist white low life degenerates, not white people that are human beings and you know don't do things like that. Okay. <laughs> But I'm talking about the racist ones. What's the difference when you get a piece of shit like this, all right, and this right here, Derek Arisha Brown, aka whatever, Quintessa Jackson? What's the difference when we got low lives like this running loose in our communities, killing our children, kidnapping our babies, and killing our children? There's no difference at all. I know evil comes in all colors. You know, bad heart, black heart. You know what I mean? That to where you would want to take an innocent baby and do those things too. Then you put her in a dumpster where you should be. You see, you should be put to death and it shouldn't take years to do it. Neither one of you sorry low life pieces of shit. I have so much hate in my heart for you and people like you, you know? And it's really hard for me to get through this particular article right here just looking at you, you know? And if I could, if I could, I would take your fucking miserable lives myself. I would do it. I would do it. You see? I really would for what you did to that baby. You had no right. See, both of you. But to continue, it says here, defense lawyers, however, have said they are both innocent, reports DailyMail.com. The new indictments were filed in U.S. District Court on Wednesday. Attorney Prim Escalona and FBI special agent in charge Johnny Sharp Jr. announced kidnapping and, con kidnapping and conspiracy and kidnap a minor victim. The crime is every parent's worst nightmare and my heart goes out to her family. Escalona said, the youngsters were reported, well, excuse me, the youngster was reported missing after she vanished from a birthday party at a playground on October 12th. And again, here's the beautiful baby princess right here that those low lives did that too. You know? How? How I mean you have to have a black heart. You know that pumps mud. You see, in sludge and venom to do this to a child. To do it to anybody that you don't know but just wanting to do it, you know? But to a baby, an innocent baby girl like this, you would have to be 
worthy to be put down, to be put to death. I honestly say that. I mean it with every fiber of my being. You see, they deserve it. They deserve it. Okay? In conclusion here, it says investigators say they suspect a Stallworth and Brown within 24 hours of her vanishing. CCTV footage was previously released, which shows the moments before Camille was abducted. She was seen playing with another, another little girl near the Tom Brown housing community at a, well, at about 8.30 p.m. The girl was seen toddling about by the side of the road as they scooped up sweets which had been left on the ground. Last December, homicide detective Jonathan Ross gave testimony which chronicle man, chronicle, chronicle, yeah, chronicle the suspect actions leading up to the child's disappearance. And here he is right here. CCTV show Star Wars buying candy the night the girl vanished. All right. There's nothing wrong with buying candy. You know, that's not really enough proof. But listen to how much he bought. Okay. Why would you buy so much candy? And from a fill station like that. You know what I'm saying? It goes on to say here. He testified that Star Wars previously purchased more than $80 worth of candy at a Shell's gas station near home. Near her home, brother. Phone records show Stallworth was near Tom Brown's village at the time of the abductions. It's been claimed. Testimony also shows Stallworth purchasing an energy drink and an erectile dysfunctional pill on the night of the abduction what were you going to do with that i hope they never release the details of the autopsy of that baby girl i'm telling you i don't even want to know it's heartfelt as it is man to know that they did that to that child it's bad you know they did a real bad thing you know a real bad thing in conclusion here it says the couple were arrested two days after the child went missing for unrelated charges. Starworth was charged with seven counts of possession of child sex abuse images not related to Cam the Camille case. Brown was charged with violating probation conditions from a previous kidnapping case involving her own kids. Oh boy. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. So see, the thing is, is this, we talk so much about all the evil that these racist pigskin motherfuckers do and have done to our people. But we have an enemy within that looks just like us, that's doing the same thing. That's just it, you know? And for too long, for too many times, we look to the, the, the judicial system to do something about it. You see, that's my point. They get them, the ones, the perpetrators, the murderers, the child molesters, and they lock them up. That's all they do. And then they'll turn around on some technicality, you know, a year or two, maybe four or five years. I don't know. And let them out to do the same damn thing again. You see my point. That tells you right there. They don't give a damn about what these low life subhumans are doing. Because after all, they're looking in like this. They're doing it for us. They're doing it. They're doing it for us. It's, it, you know what I mean? It, it, it's, it's for the greater good of our people. Let them kill their own. This is the way I see it, you know. Far be it from me to ever walk up and see some low-life piece of shit 
harming a child because if I ever do well then I can guarantee you he will not he or she will not ever harm another one you see Y'all tell me what y'all think about this particular situation right here. I'm interested in hearing y'all thoughts, views, and opinions on this story. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.